Hey y'all, Tenny Cooks here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious beef short rib, but this is a beef flank and short rib style. And I have two packs of it and you can see the delicious marbling that's in it and also the few bones and it is not that thick. So you can see this is meat that won't take too long to cook. So let's get to cooking. Of course, I'm going to start by washing my meat with water and white vinegar. If you have lime or lemon, you can certainly use that, but I like white vinegar because it's convenient. So I add my water and a splash of my vinegar and I let it soak for just a couple of minutes and then I rinse it off and then now I'm gonna dry it off carefully. You can see that beautiful marbling is awesome and the coloring changes a little bit when you let this beef soak in water for just a couple of minutes. So I'm drying it off with some paper towels. These are the seasonings I'm gonna use. I am using some ground black pepper granulated garlic, onion powder. I'm also using some no salt sodium free seasoning instead of salt. You can see it does contain potassium instead of sodium. So don't use this if you have kidney disease. I'm using rice vinegar because that's what I like. But if you don't have it, you could use apple cider vinegar or my other favorite, which is red wine vinegar. All of them would be yummy. Then I'm also using Chinese five spice. This is my favorite brand of Five Spice and you can get this on Amazon. I'll share the link in my description and comments because I don't like the other brands that I've tried. I also love this no soy tamari. Tamari is absolutely delicious, but it contains soy sauce, but this one doesn't. This one contains pea salt and pea protein because I have a soy allergy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and season up my meat. So I'm gonna start off with my rice vinegar that contains roasted garlic. And you can, of course, use the vinegar of your choice. Then I'm adding my dry seasoning. So I'm going to add my onion powder, my garlic powder, and my black pepper. And you're just adding enough seasoning to cover the meat mostly, but not totally. I do cook by feeling. So I know that's challenging for some of you who watch this video. So now I'm gonna add some no salt seasoning. If you do add salt, I recommend you wait till the end so that you can taste it after it's cooked and then add your salt. Now I'm adding my favorite brand of Chinese Five Spice. If you tried other brands, you may not have liked them, but you may like other brands if you try them. So just give all of your seasonings and your vinegar a mix up. Vinegar is also a meat tenderizer, so that will help tenderize this meat. You certainly could marinate it overnight if you prefer, or you can do it for just a few minutes like I did in this video. And I decided to add a little bit more seasoning because it wasn't covered on the opposite side. So I add more of my Sunluck Chinese Five Spice, some more onion powder, more garlic powder. So just make sure that your meat is covered. And look at this, you can see how beautiful the color is with that additional seasoning added onto it. So now the next step is for me to go ahead and add my oil to my pan. And I decide to use roasted sesame oil. It has 120 calories per tablespoon, which is the same as other oils or fats. So I'm not using a lot. I'm just drizzling probably half a tablespoon into my nonstick pan because it is nonstick. So it doesn't need a lot if any at all, but I like to add a little bit because that's flavoring and also it makes it easier to fry in the pan. So I'm laying out my pieces of meat into my pan and I'm being careful to not overcrowd my pan, but because this is a large fry pan, I decided to add four pieces of my beef short rib. I'm letting it fry up before I move it and I'm just giving one in a check and you'll notice it already has some beautiful brown color. And notice that I am also using tongs that have a silicone rubber end on it so that I don't scrape up my nonstick pan. That piece at the top wasn't getting much coloring because it wasn't on the eye of my stove exactly. But look at this, you can hear the sizzle and see the beautiful color. So I have multiple packs of meat that I'm cooking and that's why you see me cooking my meat in batches. So these are my last three pieces and look at that beautiful caramelization on them. Well, on the first two pieces at least. So I do move my pieces of meat around so that each of them can hit the soft spot or the hot spot as needed. And then I do take my time to clean around my stove because as this meat is sizzling with the oil, the oil does splatter around a little bit. But look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And it's not dark because it overcooked. It's dark because of the seasoning. 
Now I am adding, after I take the meat off, I am adding my no soy tamari because I don't want the tamari to brown even darker while it fries. So while I add my tamari, I'm also adding some chopped green onion. So look at this. This is the pan sauce that I'm adding on top of my meat as it sits on the plate. And then I'm adding some chopped scallions or green onions. And the green onions add a nice fresh crisp bite to it a nice taste that i like but also it has a beautiful presentation so now i'm going to show you how a piece of this meat looks on the inside because we just cooked it for about two or three minutes on each side and look at that it is beautifully pink inside so it is not overcooked even though it did get a little bit charred on the outside this is absolutely delicious this is a great cut of beef to cook if you do like beef so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel